California is cutting short the already delayed commercial crab season to April 15th. It's an effort to protect humpback whales from becoming entangled in crab pot lines. This blow to fishermen comes just after learning there will be no salmon season this year. New at 6, KTVU's Tom Vakar talked to a family-owned fishing boats who explained the consequences. We won't see that. Larry Collins and his wife Barbara, who cherish their moniker of old salts, have owned and run a crab and salmon boat for more than 40 years. Larry has created or served on pretty much every commercial small boat fleet fishing organization, mostly as president. We've lost half our crab season. Now we've lost all of our salmon season this year and could be next year. From its very beginnings here in San Francisco and other ports around the bay, as well as Pillar Point and Bodega Bay, fishing has been mostly a family affair dominated by small boats going out at the appointed time. That fleet has been decimated. When we started fishing, my wife and I, uh, there was 4,700 salmon boats in California. Now there's probably eight or 900 permits, but there's really a fleet that fishes of about 400 boats. That's a decline of 92% even before all the new bad news. Once non-existing parking spaces at Fisherman's Wharf are now readily available. I don't know what we're gonna do this summer. I mean, we didn't start crabbing till November. This year, the crab fleet went crabbing for $2 a pound. I haven't crabbed for $2 a pound since 1988. Collins says fishermen need something that's been done in the past. We need to get disaster, federal disaster money to the fleet. That's enough to keep the fleet from losing more people. Most of all, Collins says, more and sufficient water needs to be allocated to salmon streams in wet and dry years to keep the salmon runs healthy and alive. Salmon have the oldest water rights of all. Even if that means big agriculture gets a little less. What, 400 boats got power over valley agriculture? You know, no. <laughs> well, that will require time and, if possible, endurance. Tom Baker, KTVU, Fox 2 News.